Philadelphia is banning these gaming machines you see here, commonly found at corner stores. The mayor says they're a nuisance that contribute to crime. But Steve, you spoke to small businesses who say these machines are a lifeline. Yeah, and even before the mayor signed the bill into law here at City Hall, the owner of a group of Philadelphia stores sued to stop it last week. And because no one here in any city office has ever regulated these machines, no one here at City Hall has a clue how many machines there are in the city. But estimates are as high as thousands of them in hundreds of businesses. It is not okay to tempt our residents from low and moderate income neighborhoods with opportunities to gamble away their hard-earned dollars. We watch people playing and people watching people play the casino-looking games at this North Philly corner store, a store without a casino license or any restaurant-style seating. What is worse is that you put that near candy, put that near kids, put that near an ATM to feed the addiction of people who are, are gamblers. It is not okay to give children purchasing candy an opportunity to gamble with their lunch money. What bothers me most is that the actual casinos went through painstaking measures to do security, to make sure lighting was right, to do what was right for the public. These folks just dropped off a machine and, you know, feeding people's addiction, and that's not right. Banning the machines is the first bill Mayor Parker has signed in the law since taking office, one that Curtis Jones says should also ban nuisance stores from operating and attracting criminals. What they tend to do is put a dollar in, stay two hours, and it's like paying rent. And anything that goes on, whether they're selling drugs, whether they're doing other nefarious things, they get to do under, I'm not loitering, I'm playing these machines. You're not afraid of a legal battle in this case? No, uh, the mayor said it best that we should not govern out of fear and that we should proceed on good, solid public policy. So the city was first now to make a move against the machines, but these machines are also in businesses across the entire state of Pennsylvania, and that's why Governor Shapiro highlighted them in his budget speech back in February. He wants them taxed and regulated too, so state legislation may soon follow the cities. Same goes for more lawyers who will likely be the ones actually really hitting the jackpots with these machines as this all plays out in courts. Jason Sheba, I asked the mayor when she signed the legislation, well, when do you start enforcing it? And whose yeah. job is it? Is it going to be Philadelphia police hauling these machines out of every store? Uh -huh. She says, look, it's Philly police, it's L&I, and it's her office of trying to make things life better in the city, right? The life quality of life crime. So she says those three groups are going to get together and plan out how to enforce this once this goes in the law. And that's once it writes and beats all the legal challenges to it first. Mm -hmm. So this thing's going to take a while before we see these machines actually maybe coming out of the stores, and everybody doubts that anybody's going to be voluntarily saying, all right, I'm getting rid of the machines because they're big money makers for the stores. We know that from talking to a couple of owners. So it's not an immediate whisking off of these machines. It's going to take some time. Right. All right, Steve Keeley, That's thank right. you.